Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to episode 20 of the Hardcore Iron Man series and hope you guys enjoyed today's fantastic episode. Nice, easy clue guys. Here we go. What? Alright, this medium clue was from the uh, Impling Grind last night. Here we go. So I did get 5 medium clues from the hunt and none of them were that amazing. So, not even one unique. Alright, this one's from Dagonauts. What do we get? Oh, ancient page four. Wow, okay, the clue luck is finally kicking in, guys. That is our third page, but this one's really good to get. If I can get myself an ancient book completed, wow. That would be quite something, huh? Yes, just finished 75th task. Cool, got all the way up to 62 defense, so I need eight more levels, then I can uh, wear some barrel stuff. I also made myself my third uh, totem key, basically. I have the other one in the bank, so not bad. Dang guys, they patched the safe spot for this. Before you could shoot through this wall so you don't have to like go through everything. But now see, they force you to run all the way to the out. But that's, you know, how it's supposed to work. But it's okay though. This is still worth it because uh, you can still range it just a little more annoying. Well, I got another hard clue and we are four steps in. And I do have the heraldic helm because I got that from the first hard clue. I don't have the rune spirit though, but luckily I can do Taibowane for a poison one. We got 77 range coming in, still a lot of AFK ranging going on, but 3 more to go and then we hit our first level 80 skill. I don't know which will be first actually. Yo, this is nice! Just got my first Aberrant Spectre task guys. Now these are really good just because of seeds and herbs and yeah, on an Iron Man that's quintessential. Check it out guys, just got 50 mining, so I'm just doing a little bit of AFK mine right now just cause I'm editing a video and I plan on probably uh, getting Lunar Diplomacy done at some point in the future. So I might as well get the mining up for it. Yay, Taibo Wane quest is now completed. But anyways, I'm gonna talk to this guy cause he gives me that juicy rune spear. Alright nice, we got the rune spear now, all I gotta do is clean it. Dude, this clue was straight up destiny, dude. These guys are 44 and I'm 89 combat, which means I just reached a level where they're not aggressive to me, so... That is crazy. And to combo it off, I do actually have the, the runic charm, so... Crazy, dude. Another 6 step hard clue and I actually managed to uh, do this, so... Here we go. But doodle! <laughs> oh my god, magic combo, man. So this will be number... 31 guys, what we get? Mmm, alright, pretty good start, honestly, pretty good start. Okay, number 3 of the day, guys. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, dude. Fuck, I'm still mad lucky at barrels on this character. Oh, dude, Ferrax Flail, bro. Well, that's 4 unique items so far in this account, dude. Number uh, 7, right? Wow. Seriously? Damn, dude, just coins? Believe it or not, I've been doing barrels for uh, almost two hours now, probably two, and uh, the XP is pretty okay in mage side, 13k an hour. That's pretty damn good, guys, for not really training. And here it is, guys, 78 strength. I did not mean to be training strength, but yeah, when I'm doing barrels, it always puts me on the aggressive, but that is crazy, dude. 90 combat as well, that is really cool milestone, for sure. 10 more to go, and I hit triple digits combat, dude. Please, two seven HP. Yes, we got him. There we go. God dang, this is definitely one of the trickiest fights in the game. I mean, you know, low level wise, man, can seriously screw you up. But yeah, range is definitely a really good choice here if you're low level, so you don't have to run around as much. Come here, South Amulet. There we go, guys. Okay, let's quickly imbue this bad boy. There we go. That was super easy. Now we got the diary. So normally this South Amulet is 15% accuracy and strength for melee. But once you imbue it, well, it's 20% now. So yeah, dude, this is insanely good. Basically as good as if you were on a Slayer task fighting undead. Hey, all that AFK range Slayer really did contribute, man. Because I am now at 69 Slayer. So three more levels to go. Then I can start AFKing out Wyverns. Holy hell, that's going to be amazing for just about everything and also one level from now i can start doing caress they're gonna be amazing tasks since they got updated and yeah they're just really good nowadays so guys i think today is gonna be the day that i go for the fire cape 
So there are a few things I want to get done. Actually, really just one thing before I do 5Ks. So I want to finish Roving Elves Quest so I can get myself a Crystal Shield and imbue it. Having that Crystal Shield is probably going to help out a lot for 5K. So it's a short quest, so I might as well get that done for that nice bonus. Give me the uh, shield, please. There we go, that is Roving Elves completed. All right, just a short little trip at Nightmare Zone, but I should have more than enough points now to imbue the Crystal Shield. Oh, what a new mistake, man. I totally forgot this character isn't even 70 defense, so how the hell am I gonna even wear the Crystal Shield? Well, I guess I'll use the second best thing, the Granite Shield. It should be fine, you know, more than good enough to do 5 caves. So here's my low level gear setup for 5 caves. This is the best I got, but because I've done 5 caves a lot of time, I can actually, you know, get the fire cape even with this type of setup. So, so let's go ahead and get this fire cape in one try. So I just hit 78 hit points unexpectedly doing this 5 case, but we're almost there guys. Actually, we are going to be doing jab basically with pretty good amount of food and um, prayer. Now let's see where Jad's going to spawn. Uh, Jad is going to spawn right there. Okay, Jad's going to spawn this side. Alright, that's fine. Let's do it. Alright, we got him. We got him stuck. Okay. Hold on. There's some problem right now. Okay, we're gonna lure these guys. Let me just kill these guys first, or else I would have died. Go. We got it. It's over, baby. He's at full health. No, he's not. Oh, I was about to say, I was about to say. <laughs> no, you I wish. Like, I'm, leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving, I know. I would shut the game off right now, bro. Come on, man, baby. You let it hit you once. Do it for the No, viewers. no. Do it for the streamer. No. Do it for the viewers. Yes! <laughs> let it hit you oh once. Oh my god. One hour. Oh. No. God damn, bro. 109 minutes. That almost took two hours, man, but. We did it. Holy shit, my armpits are fucking sweaty. Holy shit. Hell yeah, put that shit on. Oh my god, it's over. Yo, people are telling me to gamble. Mm-mm, not today, man. I gamble another day when I get a second fire cave. Dang, that is crazy, dude. 132 points. What an improvement. A crazy improvement from last time. And what? That got me all the way to 32 runecrafting. That is crazy. And we also got ourselves an official level 30 in all skills message. So that's pretty damn sick. Oh, wow. 25 away from 1400 total, man. Awesome. So just wrapped up on some more Slayer. Got myself all the way to 66 defense now. I'm trying to get 70. So four more to go. Then I can wear my Barrel's armor. And also, I was working on a hard clue that required me to work on a Sajian favor, so I got my kiss back to 100 and locked it. Luckily, I was already at 90, like 7 from the prayer training I did at Arkea, so that was pretty easy. But yeah, Rune Brute requirement got me. We'll get that eventually, you know, with some higher slayer. Hey, we got 67 defense just now, and I just noticed that I'm already 91 combat as well. Got that sometime in between the other levels, so not bad. Yo, 78 range, guys. Hell yes. We got 169k to 79, guys. Not bad. So I've had these two clues sitting in my bank for a while now. The elite one, I can progress, and the master one, I can as well. So I think that I have a good shot at completing these clues now that I've reached this far into the account. So let's go ahead and try it out. Luckily, I finished Roving Elves, so then, you know, I have access to... Ledia for this elite clue. So here we go, guys. Uh, what's the number is this? Three. Okay, let's go ahead and see. Sherlock! Oh god. The man, the legend. Be kind to me, please. Be generous, but kind. Score a goal in Skull Ball. Ooh, doesn't that require 60 agility? As for this one, I gotta do making history and then I can start uh, scanning. So I'll be grinding out the agility level for the skull ball for my elite clue and yeah, just try to see if I can complete either of those clues. Very unlikely, but we'll see what happens next episode. So hopefully next episode we'll get a lot of amazing things done, either with the clue scroll rewards or on the barrel side. I'm going to be doing that a lot, hopefully get those tank uh, helmet and legs. But anyways, if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with videos, feel free to subscribe. That way you know exactly when the next video comes out. And also, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a like as well. Other than that, hope to see you guys soon with another video of gains in a few days. Take care and bye-bye.